Young man, what's your name again, bro? Gerald. Gerald. So you say you didn't know your race, right? In the Bible. See, this is why, bro, I didn't know it either, bro. This is why I'm on this side trying to wake my brother up because I got true love for you, you understand? So I'm going to show you who you are and I hope you accept it. Because you believe the Bible, right? Yeah. Good. So this is going to be something. This is going to be a breeze, bro. Watch. We'll start at the top again. What? Deuteronomy. Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain to you, my brother. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel uh -huh. on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness. Now, who is Moses speaking to? Go back to 76. Watch this, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art and holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. The Israelites are holy. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Israelites are chosen. To be a special people. The Israelites are special. Unto himself. Unto God. Above. And the Israelites are above, above who? All people. Above who? All people. Above who? All people. Uh -huh. That are upon the face of the earth. So. These Israelites are above all people on the face of the earth. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be awesome that you are those people? Wouldn't it be something? All the stuff we don't been through, all the oppression we don't went through, to find out that we have a chance to be these people. Wouldn't that be a blessing, brother? You understand? But let me prove to you that it is you, my brother. It is you. You are an Israelite. You are God chosen people. You are holy. You are special. You are above all people. I'm going to prove it to you, bro. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, 15. Now, I'm going to prove it to you because the oppression we're in. Now, we're supposed to be above our people, but why are we not? I'm going to explain that to you. Okay, bro? Read that, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read it again. But it Hold on, wait till you get through. I won't pay attention. You got me, bro? All right, read that again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Now, if the Israelites don't do what God say by keeping their commandments, what's going to happen to them? That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. Curses. We curse, bro. Look where we live. Look at all these potholes, bro. Look at the store we got to go to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, real talk, bro. We ain't got, we, like my brother said, we got no lakes in front of our yards, bro. As a whole, bro. We are, we, we are low of the low. But there's a reason why. Because what did it just say? Because we're not keeping God's commandments. Now I'm going to prove to you that we are the Israelites. Keep reading. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me show you one of these curses. That you fit. I hope you, I think you fit. Go to verse 16. Watch this. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Are you from Tupelo, brother? You from Tupelo. What people live in the worst part of Tupelo? Black, white, Chinese, or Japanese? Hmm. Read that again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Do you fit that? Your people fit the worst part of living in Tupelo? Your people? Black people? Yeah. Okay. Now who Moses talking to? You can fit that, all right. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Did your ancestors pick cotton and Tupelo? Yeah. Yeah, who Moses talking to again? Which is called what God called it. Do, they, do you fit that? Right, I'm told you it's going to be a breeze. This is what we read. And this is what brought us into truth. This is, let's keep going. Go to verse 32. Watch this. Let's go to another curse. Watch this. Read. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to our people in any part of time in history where our sons and daughters were given to another people? When? Bro, you right on. What you say? Slavery. Slavery. Absolutely. That, that was your people, right? Who Moses talking to? So what that make you? What? What you call it? What they call it? So what are you? Which is called? Bro, you see how simple this is? How come we ain't never been taught this, bro? I taught you this in two minutes, bro. Two minutes. You've been believing the Bible your whole life. Ain't nobody ever explained that to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep reading, bro. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. Right, go to verse uh, 30. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 30. Go to verse 30. Watch this. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife. This is another curse. Reach out top. Thou shalt betroth a wife, uh -huh. and another man shall lie with her. Did that happen to us in slavery? 
Well, we, we were married to our sisters, and our oppressors would come take our sisters from us, and what could you do about it? You couldn't do nothing. Did that happen to your people? Who is God talking to right now? So what that make you if that happened to your people? Thank you. Keep reading. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Did our people build the White House? Did our people build these big plantations? Read. Thou shalt plant a vineyard. Uh, read that again. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell and therein. Thou shalt not dwell therein. Did we build all these big houses, the plantations, the White House? Did we stay in them? Comfortably? Not as slaves? No. Who is this talking to? So what that make you if this fits your people? So you Israelite, bro, it's easy. It's easy, my brother. Jump, go to 68. Watch this, bro. Go to 68. Did I finish that scripture? Go, go ahead and go back and finish. But Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 30. Uh -huh. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Uh -huh. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Uh -huh. Thou shalt plant a vineyard. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, read. And shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Now you shall plant all the cotton we planted. All the, the grapes we planted. Did we, did we have any resources off of that? We did all the work. We still, we got to buy cotton, but we picked and planted all of it. Bring it up. You understand, my brother? Is that a curse or what? Who can do that to us? God is the only one to do that to us. We're the most strongest, biggest, brightest people in the world, but we let people oppress us. It had to be an act of God, brother. Because of our disobedience. Because we keep breaking the commandments. You understand? Go to verse, uh, what I tell you? Yeah, watch this, brother. I'm about, about done with you. Do the about, about done with you. Chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Go to Egypt. Watch what Egypt means real quick. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Now what is Egypt? Egypt is the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Huh? If I got you tied up, if I got you captive, if I got you enslaved, is that the same thing as bondage? All right, so Egypt means bondage, slave. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Or bondage, or slavery, or tied down, or captive. Again. 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 So again, something happened before, it's gonna happen again. So when we how do we get from the west coast of Africa to the United States? How did we get here? Did we walk? Did we run? How do you think we got here? How? That's right. How? That's right, my brother, but how? On boats or what else? What's another name for a boat? Watch this. Bro, you a prophet. Watch this. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. Again. Again, but how? With ship. With what? With ship. Did the brothers just say that? What did he say? With ship. Did you just say that? See, this is in the Bible. They don't tell you this. This is in the Holy Bible, brother. This is in the Holy Bible. So if all this fits your family, if all of this fits you, and God called these people the, in the Bible the Israelites, what does that make you, brother? You're an Israelite without a shadow of a doubt. Let me do it on me 10 and 12. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now you know you're an Israelite. Do you believe me or you believe the Bible? Right, because I'm speaking what the Bible says. That's why you believe me. I ain't speaking my own words, right? So now do you, you know you're an Israelite, right, without a shadow of a doubt. If somebody asks you your race, what are you going to say? All day long. Now, you know this. Now, God requires something of you, my brother. You know this now. He didn't have to let you know. You special, my brother. He got a plan for you. He didn't have to let you know. You didn't have to stick around and hear this. God wanted you to hear this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. And now who? Israel. What are you? Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord thy God require of you now? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Let me ask you a question before you get ready to go, brother. How do you love God with all your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul? How do you do that? By praying? Obeying? That's right. So what do you have to obey? That's right. What do you have to obey, though? Bam! Absolutely correct. But read it. To keep the commandments. You have to obey. 
Read. To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments. Read. Of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For your good. Don't you want to be in good grace with the Lord, bro? Don't you want the Lord to prosper you in his way? Don't, we don't want to prosper the world way because it's going to fall on us. It's going to burn. It's going to rust. We can't take it, whatever you got. It's gonna, we, we can't take it with us, but we can take our soul with us, can't we? We take our spirit with us. That's the only thing that matters. All the money you for, it's going gonna, it's gonna to perish, bro. That's going to perish. So what's the most important thing, bro? The Romans 12 and 2. I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, brother, all praises, bro. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. Now, brother, don't you want to make a lot of money, bro? Don't you want to get out of poverty? How, what's the best way to get out of it? Working? Okay. But what's the best way? If we just said the best way is to put our soul first, right? So what's the best way to get out of it? By doing what? By getting out of oppression. Yeah, by keeping the commandments. That's the best way, ain't it, bro? So anything else you do is second place, third place, fifth place, hundred place. That's why God said put no other gods before him. You don't want to make things something that ain't going to last above God. There's nothing that can be above the most high God, right? Yeah, that's so right. shouldn't you put that first? Shouldn't, shouldn't all the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, anybody that's an Israelite put that first? Doing, obeying God and his commandments? Right, can read? And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You transformed. You just got transformed today. You were baptized today with the word of God. This is what baptism looks like, bro. You listening, you learn something, and you applying it. You're like, I am an Israelite. Did I make you say that, bro, or you said that on your own? I can't make you say that. You know what I'm saying? You said that, bro. Go to Deuteronomy 30, 19. So you got a choice, bro. You have a choice to make. You know you're an Israelite. It's good. Listen, knowledge, applied knowledge of how to say it. They say knowledge is power, right? Not necessarily. Applied knowledge is power. Once we apply the knowledge that we learn, that's true power. That's right. You understand? Knowing is yeah, it's good to know, but it's better to apply. You understand what I'm saying? So now you know you're an Israelite. You know as an Israelite, you got to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. So what must, what should you do? You should do what? All praise to the Most High. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Uh -huh. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you uh -huh. that I have said before you life and death. You got said before you what? Life and death. Uh -huh. Blessing and cursing. Uh -huh. Therefore, choose life. What did he say? Therefore, choose life. What did he say? Therefore, choose life. Start at the top again. I want my brother here. I'm going to let you go. I know you got to go, bro. I appreciate you listening. Read. I talk. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I recall heaven and earth record this day against you, my brother. Read. That I have set before you life and death. God has set before you life and death. Before you came up here, you didn't know your race. Now you got life because you know your race. That's right. You got life now, brother. You got a fresh start right now, brother. You got life. Read. Blessing and cursing. Now you got blessing. Now you know you were cursed, thought you was African American, and you didn't know your race. Now you got blessing because you know you're Israelite. You're God's special person. You're chosen by God. You're above all people. That's a blessing, brother. Now you know it. Read. Therefore. Therefore, because you know all this, therefore what? Choose life. Choose what? Choose life. Choose life, my brother. Choose being an Israelite. Choose keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. You understand? You understand? Revelation 22, 14. You got that, right? Last scripture, bro. Last scripture. Let all praises, bro. Don't let nobody pull you away, bro. This way deeper than that, bro. Way deeper than that. And you understand it. Read. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his command. Blessed are what? Blessed are they that do his command. Don't you want to be blessed, my brother? What they say you got to do? Okay, read. Blessed are they that do his command. Don't you want to be blessed? Read. That they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now, let, me show you how, let me show you how the most high real. He, we all, he all real. But watch this. You tell your black man. Watch what he said. Keep reading. Verse 15. 
For with them, start at the top, start at 22 again, I mean 14. Verse 14, blessed are they that do his commandments, uh -huh. that they may have right to the tree of life, uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Uh -huh. For without, for without, so if you don't decide to choose life, for without, or a dog. For without, God called you what? Or a dog. God called you a dog, bruh. He called you a dog if you don't decide to do this, my brother. And you've been enlightened to know this. So if you walk away from here talking about I ain't going to do this, them niggas crazy. No, you a dog, brother. This is the Lord. That's a black man talking to you, bro. Right. This real spit, bro. You understand that? I know you understand. I know you feel it. And don't let nobody pull you away from this. That's right. Don't let nobody, nobody, nothing above God, brother. Nothing. Read. For without our dogs uh -huh. and sorcerers and whoremongers uh -huh. and murderers uh -huh. and idolaters right. and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Right. They're trying to pull you for some money. They want to pull you to get these hoes. They want to pull you to do this. They want to pull you to do that. You got to stand firm, bro. You got to stand. Slain that dope. You got to stand firm, my brother. Go to Surah 15, 14. You got to stand firm. That's what they say. Standing on business, now, ain't it? Stand on business for God. What's the best place to stand? Stand on your father's business. Stand on your father's business. Thank you, officer. Stand on, I'm about my father's business. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's real spit, bro. You done sat down before probably. You done probably done some things you wish you hadn't done. But you stood on it. Now it's trying to stand on helping your people. It's trying to stand on helping your community. It's trying to stand on building your community. You understand? They're trying to stand on that now. Game's over. Look, at, look what's going around in the world, bro. All this death, all this disease, all this uh, viruses, everything, war. The Bible speaks about that. But watch this, read that. Sirach chapter 15, verse 14. Uh -huh. He himself made man from the beginning uh -huh. and left him in the hand of his counsel. Uh -huh. If thou wilt to... Say what? If thou wilt. Say what? If thou wilt. Go God telling you to choose. He ain't going to make you do it. He walked you up here. He walked you up here. What's this? What's this? Script? The show description. Read. Go ahead. If thou wilt uh -huh. to keep the commandment. If thou wilt. So God giving you a choice. He sent you up here. He sent you up here. He made you listen. Now it's on you. If thou wilt what? To keep the commandment. If thou wilt what? To keep the commandments. Read. And to perform acceptable faithfulness. And perform acceptable faithfulness. So the brother's calling you to do wickedness. That ain't acceptable to God. That is not acceptable at all, brother. Go. God you. trying to call you, brother. I got you. I got you. Read. Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Wow. Most high. This is a black man speaking, bro. He telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. Obviously, he got, he, he got something for you, bro. He got something for you, bro. The God is trying to call you, brother. This is not by happenstance. You here, brother, and you stay. You locked in. You been trying to leave 10 minutes ago. You locked. You locked. And they trying to call you away. To your death. To your death. We trying to give you life, bro. The Lord trying to give you life, bro. That's a slow death over there, bro. That's a slow death, bro. We trying to make you live. I ain't saying it's gonna be easy. You gotta change some things. You gotta stand on your business. You gotta do things different. You gotta put God first in everything. All of us do. All of us gotta change. You understand, brother? Read. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2. Uh -huh. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and do what? And live. Let's say thou live. And live. And do what? And live. And live. Keep my commandments and live. And live. You won't live or die, bro. Oh, so what you gotta do? Keep the commandments, bro. Hey, listen, bro. I didn't know this either. I know you stuck. Proverbs 20, 24. I know you stuck. That's the Lord, bro. We done seen this several times. We done seen this before, bro. You're going to be with us one day, Lord's will. Lord got you stuck, bro, because you know it's real. Ain't nobody lying to you. I don't want your money. I want you to get the kingdom with us, bro. That's right. Us to fight together to get the kingdom. That's what I want. We own all of this. All of this is ours, brother. Everything you see is ours. We own this, but we keep sinning, and God gonna keep your daddy gonna humble you if you keep going against the man. Your real daddy gonna humble you if you're a true father. He gonna whoop you when you get out of line, ain't it, bro? That's what's going on with the Lord. He's just whooping our butt because we getting out of line, bro. Read that. Watch the last script. I'm gonna let you go, bro. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Last scripture. Man's goings are of the Lord. Say what? Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's going are of the Lord, bro. You ain't left yet. I ain't trying to, I want to hold you here, but you're a grown man. 
Right. You're a grown man, bro. The Lord got you standing up, bro, because you know there's some power coming out of this. This book is powerful, bro. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? Uh -huh. Is it a snap? Acts 30, Acts 8 30. Last one. I'm done, bro. Last one. I, 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 I'm telling you. Last one. Acts 8 and 30. Gotcha. Acts chapter 8, verse 30. Because we got a school right here in Tupelo, bro. Right now in South, South Gloucester, bro. We right here every Sabbath. Every Saturday at 2 o'clock. Every Saturday we here, bro. Going over this. Come prove us. Come prove. Come see. Come see what we're about. Are we just talking? We read the Bible, my brother. Read that. Acts chapter 8, verse 30. Uh -huh. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So this brother saw a uh, brother reading Isaiah. And he said, well, what did he say? And said, understandest thou what thou readest? So he asked him, do you understand what you're reading? Read. And he said, how can I except some man shall guide me? How can I except some man shall guide me? You read the Bible before. You believe in the Bible, but you ain't never heard it like this. You being guided right now by the prophets of God, by yes, the word right? of God. You understand? So you got to get around us, bro. Come see us, my brother. Don't let nobody steal your zeal because they're trying to give you death. We trying to give you life. The Lord trying to give you life. The world trying to give you death. Your choice. You choose, brother. Mark, two, Mark, four. Mark four. All right, all right bro. Mark four. Call it, officer. Call it. Mark four. Okay. 15. Yeah. Yeah. Like Same trying to take the word. Yeah. 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 That's right. Mark chapter four, verse 15. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. Now listen to this real quick. Listen to this real quick. Listen to this real quick. And these are they by the wayside. Hold on, hold on, hold on, officer. Hold on. Let them hear this. Read. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. Where the word is sown. You just got the word sown to you, brother. This is God now. This ain't, this ain't me. This is the Bible. I'm reading everything out of the scriptures. Read. But when they have heard. When they have heard. When you have heard it. When you have heard the Bible. Read. Satan. Satan. Who trying to pull you away? Read. Satan coming immediately. Coming immediately. Damn. This the Bible. Damn. God is real, bro. Lord. This is real. Bro. Satan coming immediately to That's do what? Right. And take it away the word. Try to take away the word. I bet you walk down the street, you're going to tell you, man, them niggas full of bit. Full of bit. Oh, yeah. man, full of this and full of that. That's Satan. Oh, trying to pull the word from you, bro. If you let it happen, remember it's your choice. That's on you.